Okay, so let's create our password strength checker in Python. So I'll start from creating a new folder and I'll call it PyPWD checker. All right, now let's open this folder. And this is my root project folder and I'll be opening Visual Studio Code here too. So open your terminal in this folder or hold shift and right click and then click on open PowerShell window here and type code dot to open your Visual Studio Code here. Now if you don't have Visual Studio Code, you can just create a file here and then you can write it in any editor. It doesn't have to be VS Code. You can just even you can even write it in Notepad. Okay, so as you can see my folder is open here. Now I've got a new file and I'll call it me.py. Okay, now let's just start our code. First of all, we'll import string because our password will be string and we'll be using string to uh, manipulate and take its strength. And then we'll also import get pass. So we'll see what get pass does in just a minute. And let's create a function to check PWD. Okay, so first what we'll do is we will get the password from the user, right? So, and this is where we use get pass. Because if you don't use get pass, we will, the password, the user will be able to write the password and it will be visible on screen. But if we use get pass, the password will not be visible. All right, so let's write enter password. And the user will enter password after that. And initially, strength will be zero. And there will be no remarks. Remarks is what we'll use to you know inform user about the strength of the password. And at the moment, we will be using lower count and upper count and all that stuff to check the strength of the password. So initially, the lower letter count, upper letter count, the number count, and white space count and special character count will all be zero and now we will just check this uh, check our password character by character so what we do is we convert our password to list and then we look for every character in there and we check what the character is so if our character is lowercase right what we do is we increase the lower count by one so that means we have one more lowercase character else if the car is uppercase what we do is we increase the upper count by one it's pretty simple code else if our character as in string dot digits, what we do is we increase the num count. That means we have all these three things here till now. Let's check for white space now. If the character is white space, that means our white space count is also increased by one. And finally, if our Character is not, none of these things, that means our character is a special character, right? So we increase a special count. Okay, so now we just check the length of each of these things and we finally, uh, you know, check the strength of our password. Okay, so check if the lower count is greater than or equals to one, that means we have more than one lowercase. We just increase the strength by one. Initially, the strength is zero as you can see here and if upper count is also greater than zero or so greater than one we increase the strength again by one so we'll be using this a lot so i'll just copy this so i can fix this later because i'm lazy and we check if number count is also greater than equals to one we increase this again and we check if white space count is also greater than equals to one i increase this again and finally if 
special character count is greater than equals to one, we increase the strength again. So if our password has all of these things, the strength will be increased by one each time. Okay. Now for the remarks, we will check if strength equals to equals to one. That means only one of these things is fulfilled by the password. What we do is let's add the remarks and that will say very bad password change ASAP. Okay. And if the strength is true, again, I think we can write the same thing. You know, it's still very bad, but just to make it different, let's say not good. <laughs> not a good password, change ASAP. Again, I'll copy all these things and we'll check for each strength. So if the strength is three, let's just say it's a weak password. Weak password, consider changing. And again, let me space that. And if the password is four, it means that it's relatively hard. So we say it's a hard password, but can be better. Again, finally, if our strength is five, what do we say is a very strong password? That means that our strength five. When is our strength five? That is when we visit one here, it becomes two here, it becomes three here, it becomes four here, it becomes five here. Okay. So now we have our strongest password if all these conditions are met. And finally, we will write the details of the password. You know, this is not necessary, but it's just a good, uh, let's say, good practice for you. So you can just practice some Python, your password has, and you can print f here. The f string means we can swap with other variables. Let me show you what I mean by that. Your, your password has in this lower count. So if it is five, it will say five lowercase characters. Okay, oh, my bad here. This needs to be here. So if this is five, our string will say five lowercase characters. And let's copy this for all the other you know variables like upper count. Again, for what we want to do for, for our numeric count and for what else do we have white space and finally special here special first right special count has special characters so yeah and finally what do we do is we just print your password strength is what is the password strength and again let's use the f character right because it's easier password strength becomes strength and then we show the remarks okay my thing here is missing and and let's say int is our remarks all right so we have used everything now just uh, let's use this code so what do we do is uh, we don't want to just check it once, we will check it multiple times. That is, if a user has weak password, we will give them option to rewrite the password. So for that, let's do check, what was the name here? Check password name was here. So <laughs> let's say 
ask password here this time. All right, and right now, okay, let me show you this first. So initially, let's write where it was false, and then if the user wants to write another password, what we do is again we ask for input and we want to ask do you do you want to enter another password I think you can either write yes or you can either write no all right then we are getting here another password is not defined because we will need to define another password so initially let's say another password is just entering a default value here so um, default value of another password is false but we will ask this from the user so no problem for now and if the user says now what do we do is but pass the strength what we are doing is first we will be using this and if I mean this should be appearing after the user has already entered a password and we want to enter, enter another password and this will be what will be shown initially so let's run a loop so that user is continuously asked for the password all right so what we do is while not valid what we do is if choice and we convert it to lower and if the user has entered y again let's see why is that n here so that the user knows what to enter that means the user has chosen y in one of these things right so we just return true for now and as if choice dot lower supposed to know that means that user has to quit the program and we just return false okay else what we do is if it's not y if it's not n we print invalid invalid try again okay so our loop is done for now now what we do is, if, okay, let me just scroll down so that you can see it. Now what are we doing here? We are checking if the module is the main module. I'll just explain what this is in a moment. For now, let's just print. Welcome to password checker. CHECKER, okay. So what does this do? This checks if our main.py file is being imported as a module or is it being run directly by a terminal or um, some other way. So if it is being imported as a module, this will be false and the code here will not be run. Because if we are running this as a module, then we want to run this functions, these this function or this function whenever the user calls it, not automatically, right? So, but if we are running this main.py file from terminal, this will be true and this will be run okay now what we do is we do while first we run this all right ask a ask equals to ask password and here <coughs> uh, we are asking for the password from user right and while check password that means if 
as password is returns true that means we have asked for password here what we do is we call this function what was the name check password so we call check password right and again ask password becomes check password and this time we send true so it means that if we check the password not check password this is ask password so we check the password and we print whatever we want to print like these things are printed using this right after that we ask for password again i mean we ask do you want to check again and this time we are passing true so it means that another password is true so this will be printed we want to change password strength uh, we want to change password okay and again this will be printed so initially this will be printed and after the user once prints this password this will be printed okay so let's i think everything is done and yeah let's try to run this the shortcut in vs code is control f5 but if you are in uh, you know terminal or if you are in some other editor it can be according to other editor but what i'll do is i'll run this using the terminal so that you know this is the same in every platform so what you can do is first go to your what is this the root of your project folder and then here you can just type python and main.py hit enter and as you can see your welcome to password checker is printed and do you want to change password let's say okay do you want to change password i think uh, there is some error here we want to print do you want to check password i think i maybe just mistyped here do you want to yeah it's not changed do you want to check password all right so let's close this and let's run our password checker again okay this time it is asking do you want to check password hit enter and let's type the password one two three four five so as you can see nothing is being shown here because we have using used get pass and we have 26 lowercase zero uppercase three numeric and zero by space zero special so it means that not a good password but we have an error here so let's fix this the bool object is not callable okay so let's see what we have here okay my bad this just needs to be asked pw not pwd because <laughs> it's this uh, otherwise it's like uh, variable name and function name are same and that's definitely not true so yeah let's run this again final time and let's see let's hope everything will work this time yes i want to check password and password is not shown as you can see and these are the details of the entered password and not a good password changes app we want to enter another password let's try for another password this time i will try to write as difficult password as i can and as you can see it is showing it's hard password but can be better because there is no white space okay so this is how you can create password checker if you have any questions let me know in the comments below